Hi, my name is Norma and I'm recording from Johannesburg, South Africa. So today I want to talk about one skin shows. So um, one skin shows are, are Anita's favorite, I'd like to believe, because you get to use that one skin that you've been keeping and you're not sure of how to use, or you just get to play around with colors that you won't otherwise use. For instance, I use one skin I, I need one skin shawls with yarns that I won't use for an entire sweater, but I, I'd like to get to wear them and use them on something much smaller that I can wear with, say, more neutral colors, for instance. So I've got three shawls that I've done in the past with using one skein, and I'd like to do two more if time allows before the year is over. So I wanted to share a couple of them and just share how they come about and the pros and cons of each style that I get to use here. Okay, so I will start off with the Autumn Charlotte. This is a triangular show. It's cast on at this point here with just a few stitches and it grows up to this point. So you can actually get it looking really large for a wine skin show. But the trick that I used here was drop stitches and I've incorporated them somehow in all my wine skin shows because they make the knitting grow much faster and they increase the length say compared to cables because cables tend to draw your knitting closer to itself so you don't get much length over time but with drop stitches you get a lot of length happening within a short space of uh with just by those two rows you get um at least more than half an inch so that's quite a lot of uh knitting that you get to increase there so i'm really so excited about one skin shows and I'm also excited about using even simpler designs like this gutter stitch and the dropped stitches. So it's long enough to wrap around. Let me just show you. So as you can see, you really get to wrap it around your neck and it's quite comfortable. And then the second one that I did oh, before I put this one away, so the interesting part about starting from this tiny point and working all the way is that um, you can increase up to the point where you run out of yarn. So you don't have to worry about weighing your yarn. You just keep going until you've run out or you've just got a little bit left to do your bind off and then you just do the bind off at the top. So it's a very conducive way of using a, a single skein because you know you'll get the most out of it. You'll use up most if not all of it completely. So that's uh, one advantage with that method and then the second one that I did um, also had drop stitches this is the lemon sorbet show and then um, it starts off at this point and gets right here to the maximum number of stitches that I needed for the pattern and then you do the center panel which is a rectangle and go down again until you get to this point. So the trick with this design is that you have to measure your yarn when you get to a certain point. So you want a situation whereby when you've used maybe say 45 grams of your yarn, you are right here at the middle. So it, it will all depend on the size of your skein because some skeins may be 300, 360. For instance, I've got two skeins here. This is 330 meters and this one here is 360 meters so your center point will depend on how large your skein is so once you've used up almost half of your yarn so i usually prefer to use up to at least 45 grams you can go up to 47 if you're comfortable but i usually prefer to go up to 45 grams then you mark that as your center so that you're certain that you don't end up going even longer than this and then you start doing mir you sort of like mirror what you've done so if you've had say four repeats of your center panel here yeah, if you've had four repeats then you also do four repeats on the for the second half and then start your decreases your you'll use up just enough here and you won't run out before you finish the tip so that's the tricky part with this method you have to be careful with your yarn quantities so that you don't run out before you finish the other half of the um, triangle. So this is also a very long one, as you can see. It's so long that you can even tie it. 
so that's the second one skin show so this one is called uh lemon sope and then the third one that i've done is the saint castles show so i did a crescent shaped show for this one so i also used drop stitches as i did with the other ones just to make sure that i increase the depth of the show so the trick that i used on this one so that it will not look unfinished if you run out of yarn was to make sure that this repeats so there is gutter stitch panels there is this uh, bended lace and then there's the drop stitches so what i did was to make sure that the repeats are not even so here you've got fewer gutter ridges than you have here and there are fewer ridges and then there's more of them here and with the drop stitches as well you've got um two drop stitches and here i think i did three or four and i did two at the bottom so the trick was to make sure that when you're doing when you're knitting this type of show you go as far as you can depending on the size of your skein but when you do get to the bind off um i did a pico bind off on this one when you do get to the bind off it won't look incomplete if your um se your pattern sequence is very even and regular if you just finish somewhere in the middle of nowhere your, your show will look incomplete like you just ended it abruptly but because um i just made sure that right from the start it's not even the gutter reaches are not even for throughout the show so it's easy to just finish your show without it looking incomplete so that was the trick with this one so as you can see it also wraps around quite comfortably and i, I just like the light and airy feel of this one's gain shows so um that's the third one that I, I, I'm finally done with. So the next one that I'll be working on will be using this skein uh, from Miss Lamotians. It's Vesales. The color is Vesales and the base is Linum. It's 90% Super Merino, Superwash Merino, sorry, and 10% Linen. So it's going to probably have some lace patterns and I'll see how I'll play around with it, but I'm looking forward to this. And then the other one that I'll do is um, using boardwalk. So I'm not sure of the stitch that I want to use on this one, but I'm hoping to really do some crazy experiment. So I hope it works out. And it's, this is probably going to also start off with it. It's going to be an asymmetrical triangle, starting off at the tip and increasing as you go. So that's the idea that I have on this one. So I'm really excited about one skein shawls. I hope you love them too. So please comment below and tell me which of the three shawls that I showed is your favorite and why you love it. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll link the three shawls below so that you can go check them out on my Ravelry and my Lovecrafts shop. Thank you. Bye-bye.